Hello and welcome back to Profile Cheese YouTube channel where we're taking a look at Agile project management. Trying to build you with the fundamental basics of understanding Agile as an approach to your own business. Maybe you're running a project or some type of initiation. You will want to know the key traits, the key characteristics and the key principles of what it takes it to be Agile. And the first consideration is known as the DSDM principle. And in line with the DSDM philosophy, that the best business value emerges when projects are aligned to clear business goals, delivered frequently, and involve the collaboration of motivated and empowered people. The DSDM approach to development and delivery is both iterative and incremental, with the most important business needs typically being addressed early while less important features are delivered later. And DSDM is an acronym for Dynamic Systems Development Method. And this process model compromises a framework which shows the DSDM phases and how they relate to one another. And this process model is then used by each project to derive their life cycle. So as you can see here now, on screen, this is the DSDM process. And I'll briefly go through what each of these phases mean. So the pre-project phase is the first one. And this phase ensures that only the right projects are started and that they are set up correctly based on a clearly defined objective. So this is really the beginning of you understanding exactly is it the right project for your company and should it be run for your business. The feasibility phase is intended to primarily to establish whether the proposed project is likely to be feasible from a technical perspective and whether it appears cost effective from a business perspective too. And the effort associated with feasibility should be just enough to decide whether further investigation is justified or whether the project should be stopped now as it is unlikely to be viable. Now there are many project products that they're known as that you would complete during this phase such as the business case, the PRL, prioritize requirement list, the solution architecture definition, the development approach definition, your delivery plan, your management approach definition, and your feasibility assessment will all go into this key phase of the project. And by the end of this phase, you will have a further understanding of whether you should be completing this project or not, whether you, whether you have the feasibility and the resources to carry each stage out effectively. Moving on then is your foundations phase. And the foundation phase takes the preliminary investigation from feasibility to the next level. It is intended to establish a fundamental but not detailed understanding of the business rationale for the project itself, the potential solution that will be created by the project and how the development and delivery of that solution will be managed. So by intentionally avoiding low levels of detail, the foundations phase should last no longer than a few weeks, even for large complex projects. The detail associated with requirements and how they should be met as part of the solution is intentionally left until the evolutionary development phase. So the aim of the project is to understand the scope of work and in broad terms, how it will be carried how it will be carried out, by whom, when and where. The foundation phase also determines the project life cycle by agreeing how the DSDM process will be applied to the specific needs of this project. And for, and for smaller, simpler projects, the feasibility and foundation phases can often be merged into single phases. Whereas for larger, more complex projects, it may sometimes be necessary 
to revisit foundations after each deployment phase. So other key products are the likes of your business case, your PRL as we mentioned, solution architecture definition, and then of course your foundation summary will all be key products that will go into this step. I will create a video on each of the key products that you will want to take into consideration while going through your Agile project management process. So keep an eye on that video coming to Profile Trees YouTube soon. However, if you do have any questions, you can find both my email and the business email on screen now. My name is Lachlan and I work as a digital transformation associate here at Profile Tree. I'll be happy to support you in any agile approach or even the implementation of new technology to grow your own business. So if you do have any questions or you want to run a one-to-one -one call with me today, fire me over an email and I'll be happy to get back to you soon. The evolutionary development phase looks to build on the firm foundations that have been established for the project and the purpose of this phase is to evolve the solution. So the evolutionary development phase requires the solution development team to apply practices such as iterative development, time boxing and Moscow prioritization together with modeling and facilitated workshops to converge over time on an accurate solution that meets the business need and is also built in the right way from a technical viewpoint. Working within time boxes, the solution development team creates solution increments, iteratively exploring the low-level detail of the requirements and testing continuously as they move forward. So this is a key point in any project and basically the midst of the work will be done during each time box of your evolutionary development phase. Within this step, you'll want to have time box review records and a key delivery plan. So collaboration, communication and involvement are going to be key attributes to this phase, making sure that everyone's on board and working together as a team to try and meet the time demands that have been set out. The objective of the deployment phase is to bring a baseline for the evolving solution into operational use. The release that is deployed may be the ultimate solution or a subset of the ultimate solution and after that release the project is formally closed. So you will have to complete a project review report looking at the key considerations that have been addressed within this project. The final phase, post project phase, is after the final deployment of the project and this phase basically checks how well the expected business benefits have been met. So that was a quick run through of the DSDM process. Trying to start off with a video to give you a basic understanding of each of the key phases or areas that you will cover while going through an agile project management initiative. Of course, there are going to be a lot of key requirements that will need to be addressed while going through each of these phases. So I will create more videos in around how you would tackle each of these areas, which will be best suited towards any business that is trying to initiate any type of project in an agile way. That is the end of today's video. Thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day.